Let's take a look at sports news now. Here's Ayo Tunde Balogun. Thanks, Ijoma. It's time to talk some football news. Well, Rumble Stars Football Club have appointed Kennedy Boboy as the new head coach of the club after the departure of Fatai Osho. Now, the Kennedy based outfit confirmed that Boboy signed a one year deal. Boboy had previously managed Sunside Stars FC, Abia Warriors, and in 2016 2017 season, he led Plateau United to win the league title. The 45 year old will be assisted by Daniel Ogumodede. A Remo Stars began their campaign at the 2018-2019 Nigeria Professional Football League against newly promoted Bendel Insurance in Shagam. Expected back Tuesday to attend a trial for tax evasion in Spain, or in which Spain prosecutors are asking for a 23-month prison sentence and a fine. Now, the Portuguese striker who left Real Madrid FC for Juventus last July is expected to plead guilty after he agreed a settlement worth 18.8 million euros with Spanish tax authorities last summer. A world number two, Angelique Kerber celebrated her 31st birthday by making short work of home wildcard Kimberly Burrell to progress through to the last 16 of the Australian Open. Akeba broke in the opening game of the match and would not allow her grip to be loosened by an opponent who had previously upset 29th seed Donna Vekic. The German roared through the first set in 27 minutes and then maintained her formidable level for much of the second set, closing it out without losing a single game. Our media representatives in Ghana have condemned the killing of an investigative journalist, Ahmed Hussein Swale, who helped to uncover corruption in football, who has already been buried. Now, Hussein Swale was part of a team led by well-known undercover journalist Anas Amiyao Anas, made famous for a documentary last year that accused 77 referees and Ghana's then Football Association boss, Kwesi Nyatake, of taking bribes. Well, that's a wrap on Sports News. The News at 10 continues shortly. Thanks a lot, Ayo Tunde. The African Union says there are serious doubts about the outcome of elections in the Democratic Republic of Congo and has called for final results to be suspended. The initial figures gave victory to one opposition candidate, Felix Sikedi, but another opponent of the current administration insists he won. Supporters of Martin Fayulu are insisting Mr. Sekedi made a power-sharing deal with outgoing President Joseph Kabila. Mr. Sekedi's team denies this. Final results are due to be announced later on. And Australia has sweltered through at least five of its ten warmest days on record. An extreme heat wave has afflicted the nation since Saturday, causing wildlife deaths, bushfires and an increase in hospital admissions. Australia's Bureau of Meteorology says preliminary readings show daily national temperatures highs of 40 degrees Celsius. It's the highest minimum temperature ever recorded anywhere in Australia. And the main news again. The federal government today said the PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar has questions to answer over 156 million Naira slush fund allegedly withdrawn from the defunct bank PHB. And also today, the People's Democratic Party dismissed the federal government's allegations of financial fraud against this presidential candidate and said the APC is jittery over its candidate's visit to the U.S. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Ijo Mahonyato. Do have a great weekend. Good night.